Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. I just wanted to make a quick video. Just got a chance to finally see the Tommy Dreamer vs. Rob Van Dam match from the TNA pay-per-view last night, Turning Point 2010. And just, um, Tommy Dreamer, man, I'm, uh, honestly, I, I am a big fan of yours, and I, um, and I give it up to you for all the, the love and respect that you put into wrestling, but I just, I just can't believe that you put everything to that match that you put in last night. At the point that you knew that your wrist was broken, and uh, you and Van Dam uh, just <laughs> looked in amazement at the bone popping out as much as it was. I just, um, you don't have to do stuff like that, Tommy Dreamer. You're fucking Tommy Dreamer, uh, one of the uh, extremists of the extreme from ECW. And uh, nobody's going to doubt your heart or your love or, uh, you know, what you've put into this business. So, <laughs> Dreamer, at that, at that point, everybody knew the match was over. Why the hell did you keep going, man? Uh, this was a below-average, um, you know, TNA pay-per-view. And, Dreamer, you weren't going to be the one that's uh, going to save it. So, um, it, the match made no sense at all. They had, a, they had an injury uh, with the, uh, the world title, you know, uh, Mr. Kennedy or uh, Mr. Anderson wasn't able to go. He was the number one contender with a concussion, so they moved Matt Morgan in. Wouldn't the, uh, you know, the better choice been Van Dam? So, you know, TNA really didn't have their, you know, their, all their balls into their pile going into this pay-per-view, seeing what they would do, so, you know, how TNA had, um, you know, Jeff Hardy become the champion after they stripped uh, Rob Van Dam of the belt. Why, why wouldn't you move Rob Van Dam into the number one contendership? You know, you, shouldn't he be the guy that would move into there? Seeing that it's his title that Jeff Hardy's wearing that he never lost. But th that's just one of the many problems going on with TNA. But, but Tommy Dreamer, you don't have to do stuff like that. Man. You're on, you are one crazy son of a bitch. And anybody who hasn't seen that match and seen the spot, make sure you check it out. Because when the first sight you see of that bone popping out and then you notice that they're going to keep going with the match, you're going to... Shake your head. Tommy Dreamer, why?